It's me, Leela. Let's see what's on today's show. Queensland's upset win. Rupert Grint's new world record. And a slightly sad looking tree. But first, do yourself a favour and subscribe. It's good news for South Australians today with no new cases of COVID-19. But it's also the first day of a really tough lockdown. We found out how it's affecting different kids around the state and what they're doing to get through it. Hi VTN, I'm Marla and I live in Adelaide which is in lockdown right now. This means no school, no going out and I can't go to my dance company rehearsals. I'm keeping busy today by finishing some schoolwork with friends. Hi BTN. Hi BTN. Hi BTN, my name's Kelly and I just finished year 12 this year. This lockdown has changed my life or my plans for the next week drastically. I was meant to have my graduation and go to Victor Harbour but they were both cancelled. It really wasn't what I was expecting a year 12 experience to be like. I guess we've all got to stay strong and continue through this. I hope to celebrate my year 12 soon. Stay safe. Hi BTN, my name's Maddie. And I'm Abby. We thought that we'd make masks for our family. You get a piece of material and you fold it up into thirds so it has three layers. You cut out a shape and add two pieces of elastic to, it, to the end. I use the shape from the internet. Hi BTN, my name's Nadia. So I've been put into quarantine for the next 14 days because my nanny and I have been in close contact with someone with COVID-19. We got a call from SA Health and they told us to sit tight as they would send someone to test us. So, to keep busy, I'm going to write my own songs, to go. play trumpet and play with my dirty dog. <laughs> do it! Stay safe everyone. We can do it, I say. Give you a mask. Students across France have been protesting because they say they're not being protected against COVID-19 at school. France has had more than 2 million cases. That's the most in Europe, and the country is in lockdown. But the government is still making kids go to school because it's worried they'll fall behind. Police have tried to break up protests, and students say it's got really violent. We are scared for our families, for, our, for ourselves. Queensland is everywhere, but especially in... Queensland are still celebrating their state's big origin win. Here's Kale with sport. With 14 debutants in the series and coming off a 24 point loss in Sydney, this Queensland side was dubbed the worst in 40 years. That was until kicker. Oh, I think he might have a try. Nearly 50,000 spectators packed Suncorp Stadium in the biggest sporting event in this new COVID world to see arguably the greatest upset in origin history. Hendrick Lee goes over to score! A best on ground effort from Cameron Munster and tries to Edric Lee and Harry Grant secured a 20 to 14 win for the Maroons. In the celebrations, Queensland captain Daly Cherry Evans had the last laugh. And on behalf of the worst ever Queensland team, thank you very much. Today is the NBA draft where the best young bowlers in the world are selected to play in the NBA. The first pick was Anthony Edwards, but you might recognise who went at three. The Charlotte Hornets select LaMelo Ball from Chino Hills, California. Yep, LaMelo spent the last year getting buckets for the Illawarra Hawks in the NBL, and now he's set to join the Charlotte Hornets, while Aussie young gun Josh Green went at pick 18 to the Dallas Mavericks. Some people like to say less is more, but as my mum likes to say, more is more. Which is why I've decided to focus on things there are probably millions of. It's safe to say there are millions of fans of this Harry Potter star. Rupert Grint is now the fastest person to reach a million followers on Instagram. He accomplished that this month in just four hours and one minute with this post that introduced his new baby girl. No, baby Ron. And there are probably millions of matches in this room. Because that's what these replicas of famous landmarks are made from. The self-taught Egyptian artist says each piece takes him months to finish. Finally, there's almost definitely millions of Christmas trees that go up every year. But there's only one Rockefeller Christmas tree. But this year, people are saying the tree's arrival really captures 2020. 
This is last year's, and this is this year's. That's one sad looking tree. You know what rhymes with tree? See you later. <laughs>